Hi, this is Michael. Uh, welcome to day number two of the 1641cc Volkswagen Injury Build. Um, the it's 11, 26, 20 series. And um, today I'm going to be cleaning up the case so I can start putting it together. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple things I usually do and I can't because of certain things. So um, let's, let's get to it. Okay, so right now I uh, bought some uh, engine degreaser from an uh, automotive store. Um, they didn't have the foaming kind. I usually like to get the foaming kind. And this is kind of the old fashioned way that I used to um, clean the engine cases. Uh, the thing I really like to do is use my parts cleaner, but the parts cleaner is um, not working at the moment. So um, I'm going to take the engine degreaser and this is my parts cleaner. It's a, a, a Kim Free um, smart washer and um, it's gray because it's large. It could fit the whole entire engine and it's easy on the environment and on your hands. Now I uh, put the two engine case halves in my yard. I'm just spraying the cleaner all over the engine. Um, so one thing that doesn't really show is I actually sprayed this, let it soak for about 10, 20, maybe even 30 minutes. And then I came back and sprayed it one more time. So that's me, uh, wait, lady, leave it alone. And this is me coming back, spraying it one more time after I let it set. And then, uh, once I spray it really good. I go back and grab my um, wire brushes so I can start scrubbing. This engine case wasn't too bad. I mean, there was some buildup. Uh, some of those that you're going to find out there is going to be really bad where there's a lot of just dirt, oil buildup, and other cases are going to be pretty clean. And during this method, it, it takes a little, a little bit of elbow grease, but eventually you get it nice and clean, uh, cleaner than um, before, so you can work with it and not have to worry about getting all your hands dirty. Then I'm just uh, switching them so I can work on the other case half. Like I said before, this one wasn't too bad of a scrub. You want to make sure that around the, um, where the pistons go, that's nice and clean. Uh, now I'm spraying the cases with water to make sure I get all the goo off um, so it can be nice and clean. And I set it aside. I'm going to spray the other case here. And just be careful, uh, if you stand too close, sometimes the engine case can spray you with water depending on where you are. So after you spray them, you just set them aside and kind of let them sit. I wish it was sunny outside. It probably would have dried a little faster than what it's doing right now. So I'm taking it inside here and am cleaning everything, all the water off the inside. I try to not spray the inside of the engine. So I have a paper towel that I'm just brushing everything off. I'm 
and then cleaning the bottom or the, the other side. And if you do use some sort of blade like I am, you got to be really careful not to scrape or gouge the engine case half. Um, I'm barely, you know, touching the case, um, just making sure it's nice and smooth. So when I put the new um, sealant on there to put the two case halves together, that I'm not going to have any bumps or, or oil leaks. I'm wiping everything off. There it is, nice and clean. Clean on the outside too. Now this case, there's two studs that go from case to case, um, case half to case half. Um, they were rusted on, and I've, I've never really had this happen before, but it came off, the stud came off when I was taking off the nut. And uh, here I am just trying to take off those nuts off the stud. So what I did was I, I backed in, or screwed the nut onto the stud further towards the case half and then I took a wire brush and cleaned it off and then I also took a, a kind of a knife and cleaned up the teeth on the um, the stud there and then uh, this one you know it was pretty tough to get off I think I'm going to uh, try to maybe wire wheel it to kind of get it uh, better later on so there you go it's all ready so this engine needed um after i pulled the nuts off those studs i pulled the um the o-ring rubber o-ring off of each stud of the engine um i cut one side and then i cut perpendicular to it and then pulled them off with a screwdriver and you know those pliers usually if they're not too hard, you know, nose pliers usually pinches the rubber and then you can pull it off. But these ones uh, were a little bit harder to pull off. And there you go. All right. Thanks so much for uh, watching today. Uh, we covered the uh, cleaning of the engine cases and making sure that the mounting surfaces where the two cases come together are perfectly nice and clean. Uh, don't forget those two dowels. Um, take any foreign objects or goo or whatever you want to call it away from those so we have a good seating when we put the two engine cases halves together. Um, like I said before, this is kind of like old school where I used to uh, use this cleaner to clean my engines. Um, I'm not used to like having this strong chemical smell, but hopefully it'll go away. Um, I'm going to leave my fan on probably a, a good portion of the day to kind of um, air out the, uh, the garage here. Um, once I get my parts washer fixed, then uh, I'll be reverting back to that method. Um, join me next time when we uh, talk about the crank and we install the gears on it. We install the bearings and then also connecting rods. A couple things that you're going to need next time is a hot plate. Um, I've been using this one for quite some time. It's just uh, you know just a regular hot plate where you usually put a pan on there. Um, but this one we're going to put the gears on to heat up. Um, so it's just kind of a, a hot plate. Um, and then I usually use um, just some uh, leather gloves so I can pick up the parts and pieces after it gets heated up. Um, Thanks so much for joining again, and uh, don't forget to like, comment uh, below, and then also subscribe to my channel, and um, don't forget to share uh, this video with those that are in the Volkswagen community that you know that might benefit from uh, somehow you know, rebuilding their engine or knowing uh, how to do it. I know that my first one was um, a while back, 20-some-odd uh, years ago, and um, 
it could be intimidating once you do it the first time uh, but I assure you that once you do it, it you'll find that it's easy and you'll be able to do it uh, more and more often as you go uh, throughout your uh, Volkswagen career and uh, thanks so much have a great day